this is numeric citizen in today's video three things first how you can create progress bars in your documents second what you should always do when you are using the craft assistant and third how you can create shortcuts for quickly searching content in your documents let's find out so let's say you are working on a project uh, and uh, you have a document where you want to show the progress of the uh, project. So one way to do that is by creating some sort of progress bar where you'll visually show how the project is um, going. So as you can see here on the, on the screen, I have a, a sample of progress bar. Uh, those are pretty simple to do. Um, if I take this one, I can move the progression uh, to the, uh, the place I want. I can drop it there. And as you can see, the text here won't change because it's not really a progress bar like you would uh, do in Excel, for example. So we have to change the text accordingly, uh, depending on how the progression is going. You can do the same thing here. Um, so how you do that? The first thing to do is to insert a table. So I'll go there, insert a table. By default, uh, Craft will insert a three by three table. So I'll delete uh, the column here because I don't need that. And then I'll also delete the this line, this row here and this row here. So now I have a one row by two columns. And then here is the progression part. I can say like 22%. And then I can just move this the right place. And I should put a different color to the cell like this. And on this portion, I just select a different and lighter uh, background. And here we go, you have a uh, progress bar showing a 32%. So obviously it's not uh, precise science. Uh, you have to adjust accordingly. If you want to show a different proportion, then you'll have to change the uh, line here and then also maybe change the percent, percentage accordingly. So as you can see, it's not perfect. As you can see here, there is some alignment issues, but uh, it's more it's uh, something that you uh, can do if you are um, in need of those things. Um, so that's it for the progress bar creation using craft. Now, the second thing I want to show you today is when you use Craft, Craft Assistant, which can be invoked using the forward slash menu where you can see the assistant option. Um, the thing you should consider doing uh, when you are generating content with the Craft Assistant is to mark the content as such as being generated by uh, the assistant itself. So it will be easier for you to know uh, in the future when you go back to a specific document that a specific portion of a document has been uh, written by the craft assistant and not by you. So how can you do that? So let's say I want to uh, ask a question about, uh, to the assistant about the, what is climate change denial. So I'll invoke the assistant, hit enter. What is climate change denial? then it enter, it will give me an answer. Um, so depending on my knowledge of this uh, field, I can judge if the answer is good enough. And if I find it good enough, I can just click copy here and then I can paste the text. And now the thing is I'll escape to select the block and I want to mark this as being done by craft, the, the craft assistant. So I'll just go in the formatting option here. I'll go select the block and then I can select a color that fits, that fits my, my uh, requirements. So if you do that all the time for each uh, text that, you, uh, that is being generated by the craft assistant, uh, you'll know later that this is not something that you wrote. And I would even suggest to write a mention underneath the uh, this text, this uh, block of text uh, saying that the previous block has been uh, generated using uh, an assistant like the craft assistant. So that's the second thing I wanted to show you in this in this video today. The third thing I want to show you is how you can create quick searches within your documents. So what is a quick search? A quick, a quick search is a way to have a 
a uh, some text with a hyperlink uh, within the text where you just click on the hyperlink and it will show you something in return like the result of the results of the search itself so I have created two here. This is one, this is another one. If I look for all the documents which contain uh, the tag uh, Apple, I click on that and then you see the search results are different. So it can be useful to have those search uh, um, uh, shortcuts within your document. So I'm going to show you how you can implement that within your own environment. So let's see how it is done. Um, the first thing you have to understand is that a, um, a, a search like that is implemented using the URL scheme um, uh, of uh, that is supported within Craft. Uh, I'll put a link in the uh, show description uh, about the documentation about this um, uh, URL scheme, how it works. So a basic query is done using invoking the uh, craft docs uh, co column in uh, a double forward slash. And then the action itself is the open search and then followed by the space ID where you want to do the search. And I'll show you how you can uh, get the space ID. And then the third, uh, the, the fourth portion is the uh, the thing that you want to do in this in this uh, uh, URL scheme. And here we enter the query, and everything that follows the equal sign is the actual search. So here is a shortcut that I built. If I edit that one. Uh, you'll see the URL scheme, and at the end, I have a query with the search term to be query. So if I enter this and I press, uh, I click the mouse over that, it will show me the result for this specific search, which is actually searching the term query. So how you get the space ID, uh, you might ask. Well, the space ID is pretty simple to get. Uh, you get the space ID when you go on the share on any document within the space. If you go on the export as, you select the advanced option here and then you copy the deep link. Uh, this will actually um, get uh, this um, URL and then the space ID is right there. So this is the part that you have to um, place in all your search uh, shortcuts. So uh, that's it for the third thing I wanted to show you uh, how to implement quick searches uh, within your document. So that's it for today's video. I hope uh, you like it. I hope you'll learn a few things along the way. Uh, feel free to post comments on the, the, the video. Uh, if you are not subscribing to the video to the, to the YouTube channel, please do so right now so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks for being there. Thanks for watching until the end of each video and see you guys for another one. Peace.